The thing I love most about New York City is its people. <laughs> how colorful they are, how in the best of all possible ways crazy they are, how much they love New York, and how hard they fight to make sure New York is everything they need it to be. I grew up in Glen Cove on Long Island in just a very typical uh, middle class household. My mother was a homemaker and before that she had been a Catholic charity social worker. My dad was an electrical worker, but really what he was was a shop steward in his union. And he went on strike twice when I was a kid. So I learned through those experiences what it meant for people to hang together, to stay together, what it meant to him that his union never gave in, and what it meant to have good insurance because of his union. So when my mother was sick, we had no worries. She could get any of the care she ever needed because he had that union that took care of him. When I was uh, about six or so, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer and she battled valiantly for a decade and eventually died in December uh, when I was 16 years old. My mother's uh, life and death left me with the belief that our obligation is to use every moment we have on this earth to make it a better place, to make other people's lives better, to make sure nobody is left behind because they might need a little more help. My first real job in New York City was a, has, a housing organizer. I ran the housing justice campaign, fighting for tenants in neighborhoods all across the city. And then I was the head of the New York City Gay and Lesbian Anti-Violence Project, which is a crime victims assistance agency that focuses on the needs of the LGBT community. And we directly serve people who are victims of hate crimes, domestic violence, sexual assault. And then when I ended up speaker of the city council, I wanted to use every second of that job as effectively as I could to make people's lives better, to make people's lives easier. I'm about keeping New York City a place for the middle class to live and grow and a place that's going to help all of those hardworking people get into the middle class. I'm not about talking and finger pointing and complaining. I'm about getting things done. I'm proud that as speaker, I've passed seven on-time balanced budgets that kept firehouses open, protected libraries, and prevented the layoff of 4,100 school teachers. I've passed prevailing and living wage laws that'll bring more financial resources to working families. I've passed laws that have prevented wrongful deportations of hardworking immigrants all throughout our city. I've passed time and time again legislation that has protected a woman's right to choose. I've expanded full day pre-kindergarten and I got the state legislature to make kindergarten mandatory throughout our city. Today I'm announcing, making it official, that I'm running for mayor of the city of New York. You know, I'm running for mayor because I love this city. It is the greatest place in the world. It's the place that my grandparents came to from Ireland. They came here because they heard magical things could happen here. That their family could make their way out of poverty and be in the middle class. It's the city that gave my family that opportunity. And I want to work every day on mayor to keep this city and make it even more of that place a place where middle class and working class people can find homes that are good and decent that they can afford, a place where people can find childcare that they can afford, a place where we have good public schools and great public universities, a place that is safe for every child to walk home down their block, and a city where when that child grows up, after they finish school, there'll be a good job for them. New York for my family was a beacon, a place where they believed if they came, great, almost magical things would happen, and they did. And that's what I want to make sure remains the ultimate truth about New York City. I'm kicking off today our uh, walk and talk tour. We're going to walk and talk our way through every neighborhood in the city. And I think it's a great way to hear directly from New Yorkers what's going on in their homes, what's going on in their lives, so I can make sure when I'm mayor, my focus is their focus. The issues I'm working on are the issues that they're facing every day. So I just ask folks, come out and walk and talk with me. Tell me what you want City Hall to do. Show me the hidden treasures of your neighborhood that I may not have gotten to see. So put those sensible shoes on and come on out with us.